Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I am really excited because today is a day of filming and I'm gonna be trying a ton of brand new products. I'm gonna be doing first impressions. I'm gonna say in this video, we're gonna focus on just one product. And yes, I will be reviewing everything else in individual videos as well. I think that it just makes sense. That way I can dedicate the appropriate amount of time in reviewing and giving you guys my first impressions per individual product. So get excited and be ready because you're gonna see this top several times within the next few videos, but it's because I'm trying to do a thorough job. All right, let's dive on into the very first product, which happens to be a YSL product. This is the New Bear Look Tint Skin Tint Foundation. They have up to 20 different shades available for purchase. They go very fair and then they go pretty dark, which I think is really nice. They, you know, for a new launch, I think they have a decent color range. This product was sent to me for review and to see whether or not I liked it. So let's keep that in mind, but you guys know I keep it 124-7. The shade I received is the shade 14. I don't know if this is gonna be a good color match or not, but we will see what happens. The packaging looks like this. I think it's different. It's kind of like easy to move around with. I can appreciate it. It's a little squeezy tube. Um, it's kind of small though. So I don't know if a little is gonna go a very long way, but I'm gonna tell you it's YSL and it retails for $38, so I'm not mad at it. What we're gonna do is I'm going to apply half of my face with a sponge and the other half with a brush because you guys tend to like that and I wanna make sure that I'm covering all my bases for you guys. You guys already know I need to prime my face. I'm going to use something that has no luminosity or anything like that because I want to see what my skin looks like after applying this skin tint foundation. Um, I'm gonna use a silicone free priming moisturizer by Good Molecules. It looks like a sun tanning lotion and I'm only gonna apply a little bit. I'm gonna pump some, not pump, you know, squeeze some on the back of my hand. This is crazy because I really don't know how much is too much but I want to show you guys what the consistency is. It's not super, super thick and moussey but at the same time, it's not loose. It comes off pretty creamy so uh, I would say this is about two pumps if it had to be a pump. So I am gonna do what I normally do. Hopefully this is a good color match. I'm going to dab on one side of my face and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge. As I'm blending, I'm gonna read what the description says. It is a lightweight skin tint with hyaluronic acid and buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh dewy complexion. It's supposed to have a radiant finish, it's supposed to be hydrating, and it's supposed to be very light coverage, which guys, I mean, it's very light coverage. So I would probably apply one more layer just to see how it builds. I mean, it's light, okay? Like, it kind of looks like I didn't do anything to my skin. And to be fair, I like this. It kind of evens out some of the pink areas but my skin looks fresh and it looks like second skin like it looks like it's mine all right so this is what it looks like and i'm not gonna bring it down to my neck and all that because it's a lot I'm, so i'm gonna avoid doing that for today plus i don't want to stain my shirt um okay so this looks good on this side it looks decent it looks light and i didn't even use the full little squeezy thingy that i did on the back of my hand so i'm gonna squeeze a little more and then we're gonna go in with a brush let's see how that works same thing Oh, my hair. Nummy, hug it out of the way. That's why I remove most of you guys on my forehead. See these baby hairs? They need to go again. They grew right back out and they grew fast. All right, I grabbed my brush and whatever was left on the back of my hand, I'm gonna do one of these. The brush that I'm gonna be using is a um, Sigma Flat Kabuki. It is their F80. I'm gonna take my Sigma brush and I am going to kind of dab my skin. I'm gonna hit those areas where I have the skin tint. And I'm not gonna do one of these because when you're buffing it in, honestly, like brushes, I don't like the finish. It doesn't give you an airbrush finish. And if anything, you'll see the like, like little bristles and it's kind of annoying to me. I can immediately see the coverage is a little better on the brush side, but that's solely because I don't have a sponge absorbing the product, this, this sponge tends to do that just slightly. That looks good. Yeah, there's a little more coverage on the brush side. All right, so now that we know what it looks like, just one layer, let's apply a second layer and see what that looks like. I do look dewy though, I'll tell you. It looks dewy. 
but I want to see what this looks like throughout the day. I'm going to use an amazing setting spray that was hyped about. It's like trending and it's like hyped and apparently your skin is going to look the same if for like 24 hours. I'm not going to keep it on for 24 hours. We're going to do like 12, but we're going to wait and see what happens. Um, Because I think if it works, you guys are going to love it. I'm also trying a brand new trending brow product and I'm gonna be doing a review of a really high-end palette that everyone has wanted or wants against an affordable one. So get excited, we've got reviews coming your way. Okay, let's blend that out. Okay. So layer number two does apply a little more. It is a very light medium coverage. I can still see my freckles. I'm not upset about it. It looks really good. This shade actually looks decent on my skin, like with my own eyeballs. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but using my eyeballs and actually looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to apply my concealer, kind of work on the rest of my face, and then we will see what happens. Remember, this is gonna be a wear test. So I'm gonna cross my fingers. So far, it doesn't look like it started oxidizing or anything like that, which is exciting. All right, my makeup is not complete. It is 9.01 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead, go about my day. I do have to run some errands. I have to do some cleaning. I have to cook. I have to take care of the baby. I have a lot to do today, which is great that this is a wear test because I do not have time to just sit here all day. So I'm gonna be moving around. I'll check in once or twice. And then we'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. I wanna see what my foundation is gonna look like at the end of the day. I did use a setting spray on top. I'm reviewing that in another video, so be ready to see that. However, I'll, oftentimes foundations tend to shift or change or move around regardless of what spray or whatever it is that you apply on top of it. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, um, I wanted to point out it worked beautifully. Like it played so well with all my other products. I applied a cream blush my bronzer was a powder it it was just beautiful it just blended in like butter it's so nice no patchiness um the coverage is still there it's been um maybe a good 45 minutes ish an hour since i initially applied the foundation it has not oxidized it looks good it looks good i looked really close up it's not emphasizing my pores it's nothing else that i can say other than it looks really good right about now so let's see what it looks like later on tonight wish me luck hey guys quick update i'm currently like on the car loop line waiting um so that i can pick up my tie tie but i wanted to show you guys what my makeup is looking like right about now let's look together hold on let me by the way yes i'm a t-shirt girl and you know that i'm a t-shirt girl and it is what it is let's see what do you guys see that i can see here on camera hold on on camera on the mirror all right guys i still have no highlighter on it's weird because my skin looks luminous, right? It looks kind of dewy, but it feels matte. Is that weird? Like, it's not greasy. Oh, by the way, what time is it? <laughs> it is 2.48 in the afternoon. My skin actually looks really good. Like, I'm just staring at it because I'm confused as to how can I look dewy and luminous but not not be oily is that weird like normally without the setting spray i would look somewhat oily and i would go like this and it would be like oh i'm i'm you know i'm, I'm oily like okay whatever but it's not messy oily it's just dewy and it's cute but right about now i'm looking at myself and i'm like mm, mm. it it looks it looks as if i sprayed my skin with an illuminating spray that's really what it looks like let's see what this looks like around i don't know 7 30 ish i'm kind of scared because we have plans of getting in the pool it's florida it rains here literally every single day for like 20 minutes so it kind of is what it is and it's usually around three o'clock i don't know why um we will see what happens because we're supposed to be getting in the pool later and chilling so i never really wet my face but i wonder what's gonna happen when we're like playing around in the pool we'll see it has been such a long day. This is this has been stuck. Postpartum shedding is serious, guys. I don't think people get it. That was like five strands of hair in the one earpiece. It's sad at this point. I know it looks like I have a lot of hair. I don't. I curled it. Just, just. Let's look at my foundation. I know the eyes are still 
phenomenal, right? No, you guys liked phenomenal. You guys liked phenomenal. I think we should stick with phenomenal. Patent pending. Okay, so all jokes aside, let's look at the foundation. It looks good. Wait, what time is it? I can't see. <laughs> the, the time is so tiny. It is 8.14 p.m. I put my t-shirt back on just so that I can film this. Oh, we just got out of the pool. The back of my head is so wet, but I made sure that I didn't really like wet my face so much. My foundation is still good. I feel like it still looks decent for having it on since like this morning morning. Everything looks great. At least I think so. I think everything looks really good. It hasn't really like like separated or settled in any areas. It's not crackly, it's not weird or funny looking. I think my foundation looks really good. All in all, if you're interested in the YSL Bare Look Tint, I think, I think it's worth it. And for $38, it's YSL. I honestly do think it's worth it. I liked the feeling because it didn't stay like super tacky. It had a little bit of a, like a to it initially, but it wasn't like super tacky to where it was uncomfortable. Like eventually it was just like, oh, it's bearable. It's it's good, it was fine. And you guys know I don't like anything sticky or tacky on my face. I think that for my every day, I would just do like one application versus the two. And to be honest, I preferred the side with the brush solely because it, it just looked more pigmented in a sense. Like my sponge picked up some of the pigment, so it was like way more see-through here and then not so much here with just one application. So all in all, it's a good product. I like it, I like it a lot. And we can't forget to mention the packaging. It is just like travel friendly and it's comfortable and it's compact and if you drop it, you don't have to worry about it breaking. I give it a thumbs up all the way. Now that was my review on the YSL Bare Look Tint. Let me know down below, have you purchased it? Do you have an eye on it? Were you waiting for a review such as this one to determine whether or not it is for you? I'm really curious to hear what your thoughts are. And if you like videos such as this one where I'm doing specific product reviews and wear tests and all that good stuff, make sure you hit a like button so I'll know that you're enjoying these kind of videos so that I can continue to do them. All right guys, and that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me, it really means a lot. Make sure to check out the videos that are coming here on screen, the more unboxings, tutorials, how to's, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love, and I'll see you guys over there.